all and welcome to, well, I told you guys we're going to be doing it. We're going to be playing the fan-made game of Smash Toys. Mel. Yeah, okay. <coughs> so, Greetings, here we are. astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's Cave Johnson, and boy, do I have something to show you. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you, so take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life. Even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh... Wait, where are we again? This town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it, but that doesn't matter. Point is, you're oh, writing now, and you'll soon be Aperture Science Innovators. That could be one of the answers we're that kills some of this stuff that's trying to eat glitters. Come back here. Come back here. I want you. Come back here. We're special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre recorded messages here. once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. Yes, Mr. Now, King Johnson. We're going to put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. Science, my greatest thing. Now, one hands up, guys. I'd actually recorded already three episodes of this, but the audio didn't sync up at all. So, I'm re recording. This is a bonus Games Night episode. So we're going to record up to that part. So this is going to be a Games Night episode to start off the series. Alright, you're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. <clears throat> Wait. Chris, get over here. How do you spell station? Okay, think about that for a second. Okay. Does station have an extra O before the I? Alright, listen to me. Back your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. Out. Get out. Out of my office. <clears throat> oh, I can't re record this. <clears throat> so, we're going to be doing a speed race up to the point we were up to. But we're still going to have fun while we're doing it. And first off, I will might as well repeat myself what I did on the first episode. So, see all this artwork here on these walls. These were made by fans of the game. For this fan-made game of Portal. Now, as I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out, and as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain. Up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> Just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You'll know where to go. So. At first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counters said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Seriously though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. I'm already on it, Mr. Cave Johnson. And down we go. So. Here at Aperture, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine with all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well, 
Thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the your fire stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. The giant spheres. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovators Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least ten of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, ninety tests. We can test whatever we want to, and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mason. Those guys can kiss my... Uh, sir, that's being recorded. Anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things. But they went their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills, I make the decisions around here, and I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months, so you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests, the Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. So this will be a games like episode, but also in the first episode of the series. Because my audio didn't sync up and it was horrible. In other words, it was like I was seeing stuff that wasn't happening yet. Seeing, talking of stuff in the future. And it didn't make sense. <sighs> and I'm tired. When you get to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, though. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. Uh, an hour, at most, if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry. We've got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. I like that. I'll be winning. Winner! Winner! I want to at least get a recording of this done. Oh, hello, sir. You might have also noticed that you know, all the NPCs are actually from the Half Life 2 series. They're mostly all just clones. So, as I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term yeah, realization run. vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay tonight, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't worry, those tourists won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Got some lab boys shut them down. Crazy Harry lights me. If you're hearing this message, you're at the sleeping chamber. Carolyn, is the test ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest. And now, this is where my audio unsynced. Yes, it took me three episodes to get to where this is. I was having too much fun looking around. Let's go to sleep now. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. I feel sleepy already. Um, um. Um, um. Is uh, is is this thing on? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Oh, right. You can't answer. 
I'm so sorry, astronaut, Olympian, or war hero. There was a slight problem with the test. Don't worry though, we got shot okay. Nothing's different, nothing's changed. Just uh, head out of the chamber, I'll tell you a bit more out there. And I'm just gonna double check the audio. I actually did sync up this time, so be much. Good news, guys, we've got audio. Lots and lots of audio. So, let's carry on. Don't worry about the heights. Had a few of my scientists make what's called long fall boots. Uh, I mean, aperture science innovators, long fall boots. Pick that yellow device up. Don't worry, it's not hazardous. I've had the scientists leave you. Uh, There's an open door nearby. Should take you out of the building. You'll need that new test to move around. Don't worry though, we built the building like this. What about uh, that? Don't worry about that. It's just uh, a new drilling test we're doing down below. Yeah, <laughs> to get the salt mines deeper. Then why is Cape Godson so yeah. old? Yeah, that's it. Don't lie to me, just you're not the real Cape Godson. You're an imposter. You're not him. I wanted to see Cave Johnson, not some talkie weird guy. Don't mind all this too. We just had uh, earthquakes. Lots of earthquakes. Yeah, yeah, you get lots of those here in Michigan. Ah. These earthquakes uh, even shook up time a bit. Some stuff from the future got here. Yeah, that's how it's here. Uh, don't worry, it's still 1952. Adlai ah. Stevenson is still president. All right, so, the earthquakes. Kinda did some redecorating in here. Destroy the door too. You'll have to find another way out. You're coming with me. You're gonna be my little buddy. Oh, what's this? I can paint the room orange. But there's gotta be something you can use to launch yourself over the door. There has to be another way out. Come on, Thompson turret. We're gonna go to freedom. Yeah. I know things might look different than what you're used to, but uh, freedom. Uh, while you were spending that little time sleeping, we had some some uh, aperture science nanomachines come in and build all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They're quick little guys, faster than any science guy I got. Oh, my body, no. Now, I just want to make sure you know something before you go any further. We have these new inventions called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects from moving around to other tests. What just happened? Now, I just want to make sure you know something before you go any further. We have these new inventions called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects from moving around to other tests. Now, some guy decided that it would be a good idea to make ones that prevent people from going through, and installed one where people needed to go through.
So we'll cut off the power. If you turn the power off, you can easily turn it back on. That switch isn't like the rest of them. The other is tricked by a circuit breaker that causes that entire part of the facility's power grid to blow up. So, remember, the one in here is good. All others, bad. Remember, you can always turn the power on or off again. Now, this is still more of what I saw. I think these switches were designed for two people. Maybe your, uh, new test can help. Now we're up to the part I had that audio sync, the actual part. <sighs> but I ain't gonna end the episode here guys, we're gonna continue into the next part of the building. Cause this is too short. Are you kidding me? I turned around and I instantly died. How do we get down? I don't like that. The new testing track is just through here. Oh, oh. oh that, that's meant to happen. Just to test your, uh, reflexes. You know, after your short sleep. We're gonna end the episode. If I can. It's not gonna end the episode, guys. <laughs>